You know what the best part of any video game is? Fishing. Animal Crossing? Fishing. Final Fantasy XV? Fishing. Stardew Valley? Fishing. Sonic Adventure? Uh, uh, what if instead of relegating fishing to just a side mode, it was the focal point of the game? Well, Moon Glow Bay does this, and I'm about to tell you why you need to get it now that it's on Switch. This is definitely a cozy game. And you know who are the coziest people? Old people. Just look at your grandma. She's snug as a bug in a rug with her lovely sweater. That's why Moon Glow Bay's choice to star a gray-haired protagonist is the perfect pick over your standard teen to 20-something like in every other game. Being old, you're married and have a happy relationship with your spouse. And after the cute opening sequence where you start your new life together in Moon Glow Bay, they go missing. And the game picks up three years after that. Your goal in Moon Glow Bay is simple. You go fishing and you grow your street food business. Like most cozy games, as you grow your business, you grow the town in the process and you help to dispel the rumors of a monster scaring away folks from the town. Fishing is simple, but it's plenty engaging. If you've played Okami, that's the closest game I can compare it to. You pull your line in the direction opposite of the fish's swimming, and can pull a little harder at the risk of tiring yourself out. You can cast a line from the shore, or travel the seas on your boat, allowing for countless places to fish. There's loads of critters to catch too, with different fish appearing based on your bait, lure, or location. There's even a collection aspect, with the opportunity to fill your museum with every fish available. Heck, there's even an aspect of collecting and cooking, since there are so many recipes to make as well. After all, fishing is only half the battle when running a street food business. Moonglow Bay also features a cooking mini game where the better you perform, the better your dishes are, which means that they'll sell for more too. You'll also want to cook for your neighbors, as delivering certain dishes grows your relationships with them. All in all, Moonglow Bay is a loop of explore, fish, and cook, and it's such an engrossing loop at that. I wouldn't play this game with the sound off though, because this game's soundtrack comes from the one and only Lena Rain. You know, the musician behind Chicory, Celeste, and that one block game you might have heard of. I don't know, uh, Minecraft? I kid you not, I have had this soundtrack on loop in my car ever since this game came out a few years ago. No music has ever captured a feeling like this soundtrack has. It's cozy, it's whimsical, it's just wonderful to listen to. When you play Moon Glow Bay, you're getting the world's best rainy day soundtrack alongside your delightful fishing game. This game initially launched on Xbox and PC, but it's finally coming to port on Switch, and I think that's the perfect home for it. I've been playing Moon Glow Bay in short bursts on the bus, in bed, and pretty much wherever else I can sneak a few minutes of fishing in. Moon Glow Bay's voxel art style, while beautiful, thankfully doesn't seem to be too resource intensive, as it runs without issue on the Switch. If you were worried that the move to a handheld would come with performance issues, let those worries sleep with the fishes. Moon Glow Bay is probably one of the coziest fishing games you could ask for. It's simple, engrossing, and has enough variety that I catch myself sneaking a few catches in whenever I have a free moment. It's especially perfect on Switch, since now it's easier than ever to play it, and switching to handheld doesn't feel like a downgrade at all. If you're a fan of games like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley and their fishing minigames, then set sail for Moon Glow Bay. It's a true catch.